aluminium, a light alloy that is constantly inspiring fresh ideas in automobile construction, such as large displacement engine concepts for ample power flow, while remaining compact and lightweight in design. Oil jets are aimed at the undersides of the piston crowns to keep them cool. The short crankshaft has multiple bearings and generates very little vibration. From one station to the next, the short engine block of the Audi V8. Eight light alloy pistons for one engine. Two overhead camshafts for each bank of cylinders. The toothed belt that drives the camshafts and the oil and water pumps is automatically tensioned. On its way to the test rig, a completed V8 engine. The engine is running for the very first time and demonstrates its impressive performance data. Another station, another raw material. Steel is galvanized on both sides for the production of car bodies. Enhanced corrosion protection for longer life cars. Plates are cut to shape in a continuous process. Fully galvanized steel sheet is transformed into rigid body sections. Robots join floor pans and wheel arches together with consistently high precision. The automatic reader knows from the code which model is to be built. Each customer's individual equipment specification is incorporated at the final assembly stage. The robot's welding program is governed by the body version. Station by station, the plant automatically assembles the correct body. The galvanized sheet steel panels are spot welded together for a strong final structure. The coating of zinc around the spot welds provides lasting protection against corrosion.
add-on sections are distributed to the correct assembly stations by computer. the electronic measuring station. The consistent precision of these body shells confirms the sheer reliability of the production process. Any deviation would be instantly identified and rectified. On the inside of the engine compartment lid, a special adhesive is applied. The outer panels and inner reinforcements are then bonded permanently together in several further steps. The adhesive hardens later at high temperature. fitting the doors and the engine and luggage compartment lids. The body shell is now complete. The finished body shell of an Audi V8 on its way to the next station pre-treatment before painting. Body shells pass upright through a series of pre-treatment baths. The dip primer reaches every point of the body shell, including all cavities, which will subsequently be sealed with hot wax for further protection over and above galvanizing. The primer is only one of several coatings applied, but it's essential for high paint adhesion to the body.
the range of colors adds to the car's individual character but also calls for automatic color changeover on the production line. The brilliance of a car is most strikingly evident on the outside. But there is more than appearance at stake in the paintwork. It also provides effective protection against the weather. The coloured insulation around the wires has a double function. It prevents short circuits and clearly identifies each wire. The many wires are bunched together automatically to form rainbow-colored wiring looms, clearly arranged, each one identical. These wiring looms are then combined to form complete wiring harnesses. Every strand of every wiring harness is individually checked. Pre-assembly of the instrument panel. Functional technology and elegant design are evident in this attractively shaped unit. the Audi V8 at one of its assembly stations. The steel cables of the Procon 10 safety system are prepared before the engine is installed. In the event of a severe head-on collision, these cables tension the seat belts and pull the steering column away from the driver. The four-speed automatic transmission and eight-cylinder engine form the driveline assembly. from one assembly station to the next, linked by the driverless transport system. Final preparations before the driveline is installed. These are the mountings for the Procon 10 steel cables. The eight-cylinder engine is now united with the four-speed automatic transmission. Luxury has many facets. Natural leather is not flawless. The V8 seat upholstery is. For added comfort, heated seats. For greater convenience, electric seat adjustment with program memory.
the Quattro Drive System's rear axle is installed. On the vibrator rig, the moving suspension damping elements are settled into their final position. Only then are the suspension components screwed on tightly to the specified torque values. The ECOS station again checks that all electrical and electronic systems are functioning. On the ABS test rig, the Audi V8's brake system demonstrates its efficiency. Yet another test. No water must enter. Then, a final check by the master mechanic. The car is now ready for delivery to its new owner. If the buyer decides to collect it in person from the Neckers Ulm plant, he receives personal attention from a member of Audi's staff. Personal attention that doesn't end with the handing over of the car.